Hank, suck your fucking dick. It's Katy Perry, the lion song, but... Uh, check, check. I am a lion, and you're going to make me come. Check, and you're going to make me come. come. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> all right. Suck my little fucking dick. Well, I didn't want to do this. Um, I didn't want to address... The real ass podcast. <laughs> I didn't want to go on the real ass podcast. I don't give a shit. I don't. I, Tom is Tom is inherently funny. To wait me. a minute. Wait a minute. What about the show that Lewis pitched with me, you, and Lewis called Bastard Radio? We've made fun of that. <laughs> That's like all the too serious XM. Yeah, Bastard yeah. Radio. Have you lost all interest? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, and first of all, Lewis making fun of a guy like Tom. It's just, <laughs> it's just you know, it's so funny. If Lewis was white, people would assume he had the same mental deficiencies that Tom has. That's right. Yeah, they give true. him a, they give him a break because he's Puerto Rican. They're like, oh, yeah, he, well, he's affable. That, he's, that explains he's a little more with it than Tom. Yeah, I'll yeah. Tell you that I, much. Obviously, there's <laughs> Tom is. <laughs> Tom's a character. Yes, we've mm-hmm. got Tim Dillon here. Yeah. Tim, Tim's here. And Tim's the way it worked coming. out is we happened to get him right after. We wanted to get him on because he's in Boston this weekend, so plug those days. Oh, yeah, so Laugh Boston, uh, Friday and Saturday. Come so on out if, to that. If you're in Boston, go see Tom. If, uh, you're, see Tim. if you're white, <laughs> don't be stupid. <laughs> I can't, I'm not responsible for anything that happens. If you come out with your, Today. you know, Acacio Cortez shirt, <laughs> no way. And so I'm kidding. Boston's very liberal. Yes, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. The shows will be Tim, fun. Thank uh, you. But the way it worked out, time wise, we caught him fresh off a real ass podcast appearance yeah. with the one, the only Tom. <laughs> well, he yeah. came over, and I didn't want to. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't really want to discuss the Tom shit, but. Um, you know, I mean, if uh, there's just too much to talk about, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and I've been I've been dragging my feet hosting this show lately. Mm-hmm. I apologize for that. I've been suffering from a little bit of acid reflux. I didn't want to go public with it. But, yeah, you're you know, brave though. I know. You're, we're way, gonna fight this thing. This Nick. way, little kids that mm-hmm. have acid reflux, mm-hmm. they hear you say the n word, and they're like, "I can do that one." My day. uncle huh. just got cancer. Esophageal cancer. Oh and, shit! And it's uh, there's just no chance. So like he's, they're like, oh, ch- ch- yeah. You're what d- are the symptoms of the acid reflux and also esophageal cancer? The symptoms so, of esophageal cancer, I guess, are like thinking you have the flu for six months and ignoring the tennis ball sized lymph nodes on the side of your head. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that might yeah. be a little, <laughs> little something. Those are the yeah, having yeah. Just, uh, constantly having like twelve beers. Right, yeah, having like thirty five beers. To, <laughs> Yeah. Call your stomach pain. But <laughs> no, he just said, I guess, like, I'm, like, genetically predisposed to a little bit of uh, acid reflux. It's just, you know, it just it just feels like a cold burning sensation in my chest. Interesting. Mm. It goes up to, you know, like, my throat. And it's like there's a hard lump in there. And then when it gets worse, sometimes I'll, like, burp and you can feel, like, the just stomach acid, like, splash oh, yeah. up into the back yeah. of your throat. Well, sure. I, I've had that. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you feel like you're yes. throwing up? Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's, I think everything I say, Stav goes, yes, 100%. two, three words in. I know, exactly, like, yeah, I know exactly of what course. you're talking But it's about. like you, you wake up and you got this, and something's in your throat. It's like uh-huh. you cough up this stomach acid or whatever it is, and then you just swallow it. Well, here's what it is. Yeah. You filled your, we have filled our stomachs so to the brim. <laughs> really? That there is shit coming it's literally a space issue, I believe. Wow. Where it's like there's fucking cheeseburger <laughs> debris all the way up into your Jesus throat. Christ. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. When you're this fat and you don't usually get heartburn and that right. kind of shit. Yeah, I don't. It's because you've overstuffed yourself to the point that there is that nowhere. That sounds right. I don't know there if is that no, is right. Scientifically, it's correct. Now, here's why I know. Because yeah. if I take a real fat shit yeah. before I fall asleep. Not a problem. Yeah, sometimes I know when I go to sleep and I haven't shit, shit. I know there's a huge You're problem. You're backing coming. that shit up, bro. No, it's, it's, it's literally a, shit yeah. coming out of your mouth if you really No, because then sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm just like something's wrong and I don't <laughs> yes. know what it is. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Yeah, and I don't know if I should go to a hospital. <laughs> yes, yes, Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. you shit and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then you it. shit and then you're okay I've for never, a I've never had to wake up to shit ever. Are you kidding? Never really? once in my life. Oh, I've woke There was a period of my life. Where it's an emergency. Every piss, time. Yeah. piss every night. Yeah, yeah. six but, times a night. Mm-hmm. No, there's there was a period of my life which you know comes comes in and out where I wouldn't even have to set an alarm 
it would be I would just wake up shitting and needing to shit in a cold sweat. Yeah. The first thing I remember is my asshole clinch. I'm waking up <laughs> from the power of my asshole clinching. Yeah. The turd. That's trying to escape, and then and I. And then run if you out. go to sit down to shit and you can't shit, you go. I have a whole oh, that's a world of hell. That's right. You, that's you about, have to give birth to a turd. And then there's <laughs> something. Yeah. There's something weird about yeah. it being like two a.m. Yeah. Yes, dude. And it not being sick. Like if you sit down at six thirty on the toilet, you're like, all right, other people are awake. Right. I wish. This I feel is, like yeah. I'm not contributing, but I have. No understanding of what you're talking. <laughs> yeah, about. This is it's like, like, you're, it's like you're describing something out, outside of the visible spectrum of light. Yes, exactly. You're, you're both <laughs> effusively talking about a color. We that can. It's a feeling that you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a an feeling emotion you'll never know. Is there a German it's, word for this type <laughs> yeah. of thing? People know it. People have oh, felt uh, it. Scheiße gestalt. It's fe- yeah. There's it's, fear. It's only something that you know. It's a turd. It's, it's an uneasiness. <laughs> there's fear. There's but there's also a strange. Satisfaction and relief. Yes, it is part of the 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 purging cycle. This is our specific kind of eating disorder. Have you ever seen a well, spider we purge from our mouths? It comes out of our ass. Have you ever seen a spider molt and it just sheds its skin and it becomes another spider? Yes. Yeah. Yes. that's kind of what Stop Rush and me dude. do. I feel like that's what it is. And after that shit comes yeah, out, yeah, you shit out a person. <laughs> have you ever have you ever this weighed is, yourself this is before? To me, I don't know. What well, you I mean, weighed I'm yourself so maybe before you guys shit are cops. and then after yeah, you the are shit. Cucks. What? Have you ever weighed yourself before a shit? I've never weighed shit? myself before or after <laughs> yeah. a shit or any time. I've never gotten on a scale and was like, well, what is it? Yeah, What's yeah. the number today? Yeah, I don't need to know. Yeah, no. I don't really want to know. I, I just it's, I go by uh, like how the clothes fit and how the airplane sure, seat feels. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. If I need to ask for the <laughs> extender. Yeah, if, the people, <laughs> no, 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 if no. the people in the row complain <laughs> to the flight attendant right. in front of me. How heavy the sign yeah. is when they see me walking <laughs> to that middle seat. That's how I I know. I'm, how I mean, I'm people getting. literally now will do like a, they take a deep breath and they go, <sighs> like they're preparing themselves for war, like it's Game of Thrones. My sister when I said down. she sat next to a guy that got two seats just mm, out of respect for respect everyone else on the train. Honestly, plane. I I want to live that lifestyle. I yeah, be just be that's seat. a baller. I want to get a row. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're in a row. That'd be amazing. It's just there's like a, a couple like in a row, and that guy comes by and he's bought both <laughs> tickets, but he did waited for a seat assignment, and he's like. Excuse me, so can you move so I can be fat as shit? <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can be just I'm yeah. be irresponsibly? Be fat <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just I I I just want to be here with myself. Yeah. Like, I'm traveling with. My <laughs> hundreds of pounds yeah. of excess body. I actually fat. own this part of the plane, <laughs> yeah. so if you could move. That seat is for my thigh and nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, if you could move. Yeah. My thigh and left nut are sitting there, actually. <laughs> yeah. But everyone's um, gotten so fat now mm-hmm. that I'm Every less single embarrassed. Person. Everyone a lot will. of them, Nick. A lot of them are fat. <laughs> yes, and on you. a beach, I don't feel bad on a beach anymore. No. Well, no. Unless it's like Miami. I've yeah. never felt bad. You know, be a, a fun but move is to be like a fat wigger. And you get on a plane and you find like the only person that's fatter than you'd be like, damn, man, peep how big this bitch is. <laughs> this motherfucker big as shit. <laughs> damn, you fat as hell, son. Just roasting him the whole plane. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're just right just shitting him. on him. You're, you're all so fat. Down. Bing, bing. People yeah. keep calling the flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sir, please be quiet. No, nah, I'm just in. saying he's fat. <laughs> My man, fat as shit. Sir, please, your cookie monster fitted. The bill is backwards and hitting the person. Yeah, I went to Kmart and I got starred up, man. (laughs) I starred up my my looks. This reminds me of a kid that I grew up with named Chico. White kid named Chico. (laughs) He's dead now. (laughs) And, uh, you know, but. Did he get uh, He picked that name or what? I don't know. That's a thing. The if his parents gave it to him, it was kind of like basically writing yeah. his ticket. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, like they're like, well, this is, them. he's probably going to sell Coke and then die at 24. <laughs> uh, correct. <laughs> um, but I think he might have picked it. I don't know. Yeah. Nice guy, but, you know, that's exactly Stanley. how he sounded. Yeah. He would just rip on people. He was in summer school every year, which he looked forward to. Yeah. He would like come up to you at the end of school. He'd be like, yo, bro. You going? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going. He's like, I, right, I'll see you there. Just and, uh, such a horrible home. And then he would just, <laughs> sh- oh, bad. it was bad. It's like so summer abuse. camp. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah. go to summer school. He liked it, dude. It was yeah. like his, yeah, he loved it. He's yeah, dead. He was getting molested. I mean, summer sure. school is a better system. It's you, so much fun. It's three weeks, and then you've d- accomplished a year of what they got you like in that class. My summer school teacher, Miss Ruisi, brought her baby in to yeah. teach us that because <laughs> I I went to Catholic high 
school, but <laughs> the school I would have gone to, my public school, was like a hood school. It uh-huh. was like, you know. So Miss Ruiz, he was like an Italian uh, woman, and she had a mixed race baby, which is lovely, which I think is great. Speaking yeah, of which, yeah. I just watched Green Book the other day. How was it? Did you enjoy it? No. <laughs> no, I turned it off. Yeah, I've never seen. I it. don't understand how things like that are just like glowing reviews across the board. Well, people are insane. They're insane. I think it's... people were saying that it was bad. Like cool people were saying it's bad. Oh, oh good. Cool yeah. guys as long as the cool guys. Yeah, were yeah. on Pitchfork. <laughs> Cool no, it's just scene after scene where it's like somebody's <laughs> like, racist no to the black guy, it. but the Italian guy isn't. Right. Like the movie reviewer for <laughs> hey, Don, from don't talk to this black guy. It. Yeah, they're like, uh, listen, I don't mean to bother you, but he's not allowed to eat in here. You know, what's what's the matter? Why can't you just make a make a rule for him? Like, sorry, we gotta leave. And then, like, the next scene is like he's not allowed to try on the clothes. And I'm like, geez, what the heck? Is, what's going on with yeah. these? So it's about people? an Italian learning. And then the next, and the next scene is like. He's not allowed to eat dinner here. And they're like, what the hell is the matter with that? Like, they pull the dinner one, like, twice. That's hilarious. It's like, there's only so many ways people in the South can be racist. Yeah. You know? And I'm sure, you know, it's a true story about the guy that played fucking Carmine on The Sopranos. Wait a minute. Who, what? Green Book is the, it's like a, a, a biographical picture. The guy who played Carmine on The Sopranos, that was his actual life. What? Yeah. Well, he was just defending black people? No, he was oh. a he was a Old driver. Carmine. He was yeah, a driver was a and a bodyguard oh. for I don't know some fucking <laughs> some, some yeah. fucking muli. Fuck him. Some yeah, yeah some fanuk muli. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, but his son wrote the screenplay and with the, one of the Fairley brothers. Yeah, and so yeah. but because of this like oh you can tell because if he go more and gets his nuts stuck in his zipper. At one yeah, point. he has yeah. a yeah. cum yeah. hanging yeah. down yeah. from his yeah. ear yeah. the right. whole movie. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it, because the son wrote it, it just comes off like, you know, any Italian I've ever met being like, my dad was one of the best guys in the nation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad was my dad was the first guy to not be racist. He actually was <laughs> yeah. Italians that came up with that and was my pops that did it. But he was also in the mafia. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's like, and that's the entire movie. Well, that also, guy, the guy, the son who wrote the screenplay, also they found a tweet of his like from like 2015 where he was like, Mr. Trump... I was there in New Jersey. I saw the Muslims celebrating after the towers were falling down. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I just. Well, that's let Green you Book too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the second film is about right. his father yeah. uh, defending Muslims in Jersey. If it was, from, a, if it was an actual, I don't agree with what they do, yeah. but they got the First Amendment right to celebrate yeah. when a, they he's knocking if it down was on a, towers. A true story about Italians in the sixties would be called. I ain't reading that fucking book. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> It'll be called Stay with Your Own. Yeah. Yeah. It's the real Green Book. Yeah, um, but they're a progressive people. Also, yeah. yeah, exactly. There's no way of fuck anyway. But also the the jazz, the pianist or whoever the fuck the black guy is based on, mm-hmm. his family was like, "Do not make this movie." Oh, like really? His family were like, "We hate this movie. <laughs> the book, it's adapt. The it's all bullshit. Uh-huh. It's not like, adapted from a book. Oh, whatever. Like I guess whatever <coughs> story they're telling. Yeah. I just saw them being like, "No, this is absolutely this didn't untrue. happen." And it won Best Picture, right? Yeah. yeah. What was it up against? Um, uh, uh, Black a Panther, a picture of a turd. Oh, it was up against Black Panther. Well, they gave Black Panther a nomination. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. For they some should, reason, there should be a crossover, and they should have a guy in Black Panther. It's like, geez, why, why, what the fuck's the problem with Wakanda? <laughs> why the fuck is? I think it's you know, I mean, it's not as good as, as Italy. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's not as good as it's not as good as Italy, which I've never good as been to. South Bronx. <laughs> yeah. I've been in the same neighborhood my whole life. <laughs> I love saying words. <laughs> the best thing is hearing like a cop or a white guy try not to be racist. Because I had an uncle, Uncle Eddie, who was a cop for like thirty years in the South Bronx. And just, all of those guys are Mark Furman on the stage. Yeah, they're all, and they're yeah. all just. He goes like one time he sees like, listen, they they got families like us, you know. <laughs> like they'll just say the most obvious things. They'll be like, they got, they got families like us, those people, you know? They, they got, they have kids. They have babies that come out of their pussy, their vagina. They have a, and that baby comes out. Like, just like we do. It's like, oh, okay, Uncle Eddie. I saw one time, I swear to God, I saw one drinking water. Yeah. They drink water like we do. They, they just want their kids to have water. And, you know, so that's what we're out there, just helping. Mm-hmm. Trying to help them. Yeah. yeah. My, that's what, one time my dad, uh, he, he, this is not about black people; it's about gay people. 
when yeah. he was like, he was like, uh, finally, he was fi- he, This was his idea of being progressive <laughs> after years of browbeating him into being like, don't be homophobic. Mm-hmm. He was like, he would oh. drive around and throw disco balls on their lawn. Yeah, I was just about <laughs> to say, <laughs> and he was like, oh, fuck it, yeah. I got presents for you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, why don't we have money for the mortgage you yeah. spent? <laughs> Hundreds of dollars on disco balls <laughs> for hate crimes. For hate crime, he was like, "Okay, fine, they can get married, but do they have to have kids?" That was his. Right. Life. Well, they can't technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he I was mean, like, so. "Don't his his that, that was my dad's middle ground." I was like, "Let them get married. Don't let them. But don't let them adopt children." Okay. Oh, okay. That's him. I don't to know. I mean, it's like they should be able to adopt kids, but I like I don't think that's like wildly in the mind of a bigot. I mean. If you think that there's something wrong with being gay and yes. you're willing you think it's like a like a pervasive like mental disorder. Right. Yes. And which it but, is. And, I think we can all agree. Well, you think that and you're like, look, but you know what? It's fucking none of my business. Let these people do what they want. You should be like they should be able to adopt kids and have sex with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's what they, like, yeah. Now you that's should, progressive. You should go back to your father and be like, We need to have another talk. Yeah. You old Greek bastard. Yeah. See they how should, far I can push him. They <laughs> should be able to adopt <laughs> kids and make out with those kids. In his yeah. mind, he thinks that's happening. That right. they're like yeah. they're like, that you have was... to suck a dick, preferably. Mine. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And, and he's he like, he's like, yeah. Gay well, is. and then he's like, all he's saying is, he's like, and I just think that's a little too far. You think it's a little too far? <laughs> I just think that's too far. I understand that I've been wrong in the past. You should see so how I'm far to hear it out. <laughs> see how far over the line you could drag. I'm like, yeah. maybe he'll be like, can't they just jerk off to pictures of kids? <laughs> maybe that should be legal. Can't they just look at children okay. having sex with other children? No penetrative sex. Yeah. They can get sucked off by their sons, <laughs> but that's it. But that's it, Stav. No, yeah. Stavros, that is it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do love that shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's rough out there for the gays, it's <laughs> for, for the hard, for the homosexuals. It's very hard uh, mm-hmm. every day. Well, that that rat from Arthur, the gay ass teacher, he's apparently yeah. gay now. Well, that helps. It helps so when it's big. It, right? it's it's helps. That's I, I remember you called me. You were crying. I was <laughs> crying. I, when I, I thought, found I that thought out. the storyline because I had jerked off to that rat <laughs> for years. <laughs> But the idea that he would never reciprocate yeah. I because the, I love Bichy out. Yeah. I'm really not even gay. I just like the fucking story animals. Should have been that Binky turned into you. In right. <laughs> Binky became the dog. No, I like Binky. seeing animals come out of the closet yeah. because yeah. it brings us one step closer to where it's okay to Binky fuck animals. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's really where this all goes. And thank Christ. Yeah. Thank God. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That little gay. Ass rodent with a mustache. I'm no, Emma Wilma does that I joke. I had no she idea goes, that Arthur my first was crush still was on Nyla from The Lion King. Nala. 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 Yeah, yeah. Nyla. What did I say? I think a lot of people had that crush. Yeah, yeah. well, that's. Nyla was the trans lion. <laughs> yeah. Would hang out with Scar. Nyla. Yeah, it's one of the hyenas with yeah. lipstick on. <laughs> right. <laughs> that ain't your rock. <laughs> you ain't get to sit on that rock all day. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm going to get mine. I'm going to stand wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> Just, it's an aggressive, transsexual Okay, line. Nyla, yeah. back to my chambers, please. What's the song? Be Prepared. Yeah. <laughs> take prep. Is that what that song is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just take a little pill <laughs> and then you don't need to use protection. <laughs> Be prepared. Right? I don't remember Be Prepared. That was the big song. People love that prep. Song. No, they love that, that prep. Be Prepared. Do they? Mm-hmm. People take it a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. Does it, uh, didn't, wasn't there something in the news where, like, you, some they like, said couple there guys were, got AIDS? There were, like, five cases of people contracting HIV that were on PrEP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, PrEP I is probably just a placebo like yeah. that they're just giving, giving to sex-crazed gay <laughs> yeah, guys yeah. who have no idea <laughs> yeah, what yeah. it is. They're like, oh, it's, it has an M, like an M&M. It's yeah. like, it's it's 300 a month, <laughs> right. and you're not going to get AIDS. They're yeah. like, well, can someone shit blood in my mouth? They're like, yes, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, you can use intravenously now. You can share yeah, needles. Right, share yeah, the needles. clinical trials for that was they gave it to a bunch of chimps, and then the professors had sex with the <laughs> right, and then six yeah. months later they're like, "Well, I don't have AIDS. I guess yeah. it works." Yeah, <laughs> prep. Yeah, I, I mean, love the the name of it too. It's like prepare prep. Uh-huh. Just prep. 
Just prep. prep. Like well, you're about to take the SAT. Yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> prep <laughs> instead instead of yeah. sharing needles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like you sit down with your son. You're like, now nah, you hand him a pill. You're like, now success is when preparation meets opportunity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now you go prep. But take this pill. Douche out your asshole. You well, never they know can when get you're gonna get married. Fucked. But at least make their kids take prep before yeah, they adopt them. Just in case. Thank just you. at least just give the kids so prep. So the kids don't get it. So the kids don't get it. I mean, if you're going to come in someone's mouth, yeah. especially a kid who might have cuts or yeah. sores in there, there's have no, that kid on prep. This is, this is true. There's no mommy. So the baby drink the daddy cum. That's how that's a gay true. baby that's is raised. True. And uh, that's fine. That's they do whatever they want. But what if the cum has AIDS in it? <laughs> You're like, but dad, breast milk can also have AIDS. And he's like, I, once again, I am wrong. He let just that, let he the just baby. shuts the door. He's like, oh, fuck. I, I can't participate in the world. Let the babies drink you know. the cum. Let 2019. Get, let gay people baby fuck mouth. <laughs> let them baby fuck a baby in the mouth. I don't care. But that is like sometimes you'll talk to people. They don't even know what's being debated. Oh, like yeah. about the abortion thing. You know, like older people will be like, listen. They're taking babies out of the womb. They're picking out which one should get killed. Yeah. And then they're killing them. Yeah. You know? And you're like, is that what's happening? That's part Maybe. of white genocide. Alabama yeah. just said no abortions. Well, I think None. the future is and like good. the Supreme Court decisions <laughs> won't matter. It's going to be red states where you like go to jail and are executed for like conceiving outside of wedlock. Right. And then blue states where you're allowed to murder your toddler. Where you're a, a put in jail the wrong if you gender. don't hook up yeah. with yeah. a trans person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to impregnate a trans person, and then up until the child is five years old, it's your responsibility to kill them if they say anything unwoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's that's reproductive rights 20. What a What a fun country. Uh-huh. There's probably gonna be one. I think it's there's going to be a Supreme Court challenge, though, for the Alabama thing. Probably. Sure. But, but probably. I, then they, they could overturn Roe v. Wade because yeah. they have like a majority that right now. Well, but look, uh, yeah, once I again, know. I hate to t say I told you so, but this is your fault if you voted for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, and, so true. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And because you should have known that Donald Trump would beat her. Yeah. yeah, we should have voted for Bernie Sanders. That makes sense. I mean, the reality is, if we had all just written in if, Bernie Sanders, if we had Jill written, Stein had won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was close, we would have a quartz crystal on the Supreme Court. <laughs> yeah, <right now>. <laughs> Jill <laughs> Stein had won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He's going to win. He's going to win in twenty twenty, and literally nothing will stop that from happening. Yeah, no, he's going to win. Well, there, yeah. there's like every day there's a new someone I've never heard of that's like a Democratic candidate. There's like twenty five yeah. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fucking hilarious, dude. Mm. He's, well, everyone's going to get one vote from themselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll just be a nice, fun election. It is. It's, uh, yeah, it's such a weird collection of folks. Of people. They're like, well, I'm not going to say I'm an outright communist, but I do think that trans surgery should be free, but only if you have schizophrenia. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, what? What is this? And then this there's people that are the, like, the like that Tulsi Gabbard, who's yeah. like, went on Rogue, and she's like, listen. We got to unwind the military industrial <laughs> complex, and that's what I'll do on day one. Mm -hmm. Day one. As soon as I get in there, I'm going to bring all those generals in the office. <laughs> I'm going to tell them the fun is over, boys. It's over, boys. And I'm going to send them all home, and then we'll see what happens. It's like, okay, <laughs> well, good. Good luck with that. Wait, isn't she, isn't she like, wasn't she? What's, she what's was in deal? a cult. She was in a cult. Her family were in like a, a Buddhist, uh, like, Cult doesn't or no? She, sorry, uh, a Hindu cult. Doesn't yeah. she have something to do? Doesn't isn't she like either strongly pro or anti? -Israel? Her family were anti-gay. They were anti-gay. Like, it was an anti-gay cult, yeah, but it yeah. was a pro what cult? What were they pro? They were. I think maybe pro uh, killing Muslims. They loved yeah. Israel. They loved Israel and hated gays. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> we love Israel, but uh, we do not like gays. No. She's like she's a big fan of Modi in India, who's like yeah. a brutal like oh, yeah. Hindu nationalist. He's like yeah. a he's like a chill wave DJ. I yeah, thought yeah. Modi. <laughs> I thought you meant Modi the Modi, comedian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. that does. sounds like a Jewish name. I thought she was going to be a good uh, nominee he does that, because he did she that was song Bernie. "Natural Blues." Yeah, I yeah. I don't know any Moby songs. Oh, oh. I That's think Rogan right? should interview every candidate. Uh, yes, absolutely. Every candidate should go on there. Isn't I that natural see Elizabeth blues? Warren. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren would just doing DMT. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth yeah. Warren doing salvia. Just getting high. <laughs> 
But uh, just, Tulsi Gabbard knows how to surf, though. That's pretty oh, cool. That's and she was in the troops. Nothing wrong with that. She was I one love, of the troops. What I did she do troops. with the troops? She sucked suck dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she kicked pig, a few sucks. Afghan babies in the face. <laughs> she was kind of a slam pig. She pissed on a few <laughs> Afghan people. Great. Yeah. Good for her, man. Did Pete Buttigieg kill any people in? Uh... I don't know. They, he released a real goofy. This is why we're losing him. wars because we have Pete Buttigieg and Tulsi Gap. Like those are the people on the front lines. Yeah, yeah. Just gay guys and cult members <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. trying to win a war against warlords. Well, yeah. he's even more sinister than that. He's like a fucking like doing all the internships for well, your we resume lose them, guy. We lose them because they're not like wars. They're just incomplete genocides. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's the only way to we win. We never is... finish anything. <laughs> we never finish the job. Yeah. What did he do? What kind of... What, what, uh, he was, was in he... the Navy, but it was just like <laughs> That's to check the off another one. thing. Of course. The Navy is literally just a cumsicle <laughs> of boys on a boat. Like, no one who goes into the Navy doesn't think about fucking a dude. Oh, you man. have to think about I it. I watched... Because uh, I was fantasizing about having... Uh, like Sex with the yes. men in the Navy. In the Navy, <laughs> yeah. and then I was like, Very "Yeah, it would be weird bed. a guy thinking about that stuff in bed by myself in the dark." <laughs> yeah. yeah, just saying that out loud. Yeah, bitch, be crazy if someone thought about that. It's such a good bit that my mind just did on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, so I got to text everybody the thing I thought about when somebody else <laughs> came up with that. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, like how what I would want to see is like a highly fictionalized biographical film about Jerry Bruckheimer and Don Simpson. Mm -hmm. And then last night I watched an interview with both of them on Charlie Rose from 95. Very nice. Discussing Crimson Tide. Yeah. And Dom, Don Simpson is just gone. Just coked out of his What's mind. His, he was like and the biggest cokehead in Hollywood or something? The biggest. And he's, yeah. he is very charismatic. Is he still alive? But he's just, I mean, he looks like a Dick Tracy villain sitting there, and he keeps, you know, rubbing his nose, and he's like, you know, I'll tell you, the bad boys is why we go to the movies, and Crimson Tide is why we make movies. And that's the thing that, I, you know, and it's just all this, like, used car salesman, yeah. like, huckster bullshit. He's probably grossed, like, $5 billion at the box He's office. made so much money. Like, but mega He would spend, spend $60,000 a day on drugs. Wait, what? <laughs> you crazy. can't put that much up your He nose. did. He, he has probably his, shared it. His, his yeah. autopsy has the record for most substances in a human body at time of death. <laughs> that's correct. That's amazing. He was on 22, dead. He was on 22 yes, different no. drugs at the time of his death. That rocks. Dick yeah. pills for sure. Uh, everything. Yeah. I don't think dick pills had come out yet. It was 96. Nah, he had. So that's, a guy was like, like that, that was right that when was Viagra. Viagra. A guy like that. He was on a testing phase. drop. He was, ahead, he was ahead of where we were. Like, the military is 20 years ahead of technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like that's 20 Simpson. years ahead. Don Simpson. Yeah. in 1972. Yeah. Yeah. Watch a clip of Crimson Tide, and it's just the interaction between Gene Hackman and uh, <coughs> Denzel Washington. And the clip ends, and Charlie Rose is already looking at Don, who's, like, fidgeting in his seat, and he's, like, all pumped about it. <laughs> yeah. and he's like, well, well, what are you doing? You've already seen this. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I just love it. I love watching people. I love watch global masters of their craft. <laughs> Great. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the new Master of Seat class where like Judd Apatow teaches comedy? And no. Then, oh, you yeah, haven't you seen that? Uh, I mean, it's an, yeah. insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like people <laughs> How to that make are, electronic music. Yeah, it's like movies. people. It's like Martin Scorsese is cool. like going to teach you movies right, if right, you just right. pay, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's cost you four hundred dollars. You'll watch. That would have been great. Don Simpson masterclass. Yeah, yeah. Coke to his face. You know, that would have been the one. That would have been the one to pay for. Oh my god, the people. The talk about the pedophilia he did. Probably. Yeah. Who, well, Don he didn't Simpson? even know. I don't think Don Simpson was a pedophile. No, don't take all of our heroes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't take every. Leave somebody. Dick was probably so shriveled from the fucking. I don't think. Coke I don't, yeah, day. I think he was a guy that like bought prostitutes and had them piss on him and call him a faggot. Yeah, yeah. I, think, <laughs> I yeah. think you're right. Like, I, I think, think you're right. Yeah. He's like, he's like that's he's yeah. attracted to women, but he wants them to like degrade him, and not even because he was into it. He's yeah. just like. What's next? Yeah. yeah, yeah Let's yeah. make well, a move. Under- Let's make a picture. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that wine scene, like, what his move was just asking to eat puss. <laughs> yeah. Because, it, like, apparently... That doesn't sound His dick bad. was, like, so broken... Mm-hmm. That's that tough. He would just no. get young that's actresses to go to his hotel no, and eat not. their pussies. Mm-hmm. And, like, Isn't that, working that's fine. that's, that's the nicest way to rape barging somebody is, ever. Barging into bit. Rosario Dawson's hotel room. Yeah. And he's like, what? I'm cute. I'm charming. Let me eat your pussy. Eating her pussy. And then I we have to be like, look, 
all the signs were there. We knew what he was doing, but we didn't know. <laughs> it's the strangest. <laughs> it's the strangest way to get raped. I just, yeah, everyone, really everyone yeah. knew exactly what he was doing, but we didn't care to do anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were saying. They were like. Yeah, well, he's only eating puss, so yeah. you can't blow the whistle on him. These women are coming. <laughs> They're coming during their raid. <laughs> How selfish could they be? Yeah, maybe yeah. that's why the women didn't report it. They're like, I was coming. <laughs> I, I was busted. actually yeah. having an orgasm. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. uh, ma'am, we have a video of you yeah. coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, thank you. That's why he, he probably he probably ate pussy with a GoPro on. Yeah. So he has all the tapes. What will yeah. happen like a police like body cam? Yeah, like a police. <laughs> Let's see the Harvey Weinstein GoPro footage. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell yeah, you yeah. what. Just hear he has the body cam. Whistling. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh -oh. If Harvey Weinstein wanted his dick to work, he should probably take blue chew. That's right. He should. Very what true. the hell is that? What did you just say? Blue what chew. What do you? What, what the, the freaking is, hell is that? Is, is that a chewable? Because I love chewables. It's a chewable, like a Flintstones vitamin. Thank God. But it's for grown-ups. Okay. This Hell isn't yeah. a little Barney Rubble pill. What we got here is a pill to make your dick work mm -hmm. it, while you find the copy for the ad. Which, by the way... But do I have to go to a doctor or something? No, don't have oh, to. okay. That sucks. The doctor, oh, sucks. The doctor, sucks to to the doctor is at home looking at his own penis. All you do, <laughs> all you do is set, take a picture of your soft cock and, yeah. and yeah. you send it to the doctor on Bluetooth. You go to Bluetooth.com and upload a picture of your penis. You mail, <laughs> <laughs> you mail a picture of your penis soft to support at Bluetooth.com. And then you beat off with your soft dick for yeah. at least 35 and You have right. to come soft. You make a video. Exactly. Yeah. You Prove that you're coming <laughs> soft. Yeah. You email, have to go soft. <laughs> you, you, you email Email support at bluechew.com a picture of your soft penis. Yeah. And then they'll respond with a reference number. You then send them the pornography that you've been looking at right. and nudes of your girlfriend. Yeah. Back to support at bluechew.com. And then you go on the website, sign up, and you fill out one simple form. You put in the reference number in there, and they line up your medical charts with the pictures of your penis mm -hmm. and your girlfriend's pussy. And it sounds, girl, it and sounds easy. Check, it's thing, easy. They check yeah. if your girlfriend's pussy's fucked up. Yeah. Because that might be yeah. her fault. That, it might be a lot of the time. It's about 85% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I tried it's it. The woman. I tried it, and I sent it in, and I was like, yeah, I know what you're going to say. My girlfriend's pussy's disgusting. But they said, actually, sir, you're gay. <laughs> Jesus. This is a really good pussy. This is a <laughs> and it turns yeah, out yeah. you're gay. This we is a one-stop shop. <laughs> we looked at your dick and measured it, and you're gay. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> they said that to me. And this is they never want to make money. <laughs> they never want to sell that's, the pills. That's well, why you know. That's no, how that's you know how you're a good company. That's how you know they're changing trust They'll tell you the and, truth, and then how, how you know they're prescribing the right dosage. <laughs> yes, exactly. And right. with that, I got my prescription <laughs> for for Tadalafil or whatever the fuck. Uh -huh. yeah. It's generic Cialis or Viagra. Viagra, obviously, if your dick is too small, and Cialis, if you're actually gay. And, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Those one, are the two options. <laughs> the two options. And, <laughs> and, and it comes in a chewable form, so it, it, it can work faster than pills. And okay. you can give it to children. You can give it Absolutely. to children. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're a gay cup, because it's right. just and you and your, and your son's dick won't get hard. <laughs> I'm just saying, make the, make the baby take a pill so it becomes gay. <laughs> Make the baby's the baby, penis. He's embarrassed. <laughs> he's embarrassed. His dick doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the blue chew pill and so he can blue fuck his parents. Blue chew, blue chew is 100% certified to work on your baby. <laughs> so you can make his penis bigger as when he's a baby. So when he grow up, he has a nice big, big juicy penis. <laughs> The you online physician. What you want with your kids. The <laughs> consultation is free, so it's cheaper than Viagra and Cialis because okay. with Thank those God. you got to pay to go to the doctor at first. Yep. It only takes a few minutes to connect with a BlueChew.com <laughs> affiliated physician. You just gotta. Fill out a chart, get to know them. You guys smell each other, yeah. send pictures back and forth. And they're yeah. not a real doctor, which they're makes not a real great. doctor. No, no. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. even it's better. They're it's not another. Really... It's another gay man. That yeah. Has that sex <laughs> it's another man who can't get hard. It's another yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. And if you guys, it's another guy who yeah. comes soft. And, they, so. and these interactions are filmed by Blue Chew, who sells the video of you guys having on sex on the dark web to make money, and that's how they can afford to give you these, these pills low at low prices. That's right. <laughs> it's subsidized by the it's fucking subsidized. clandestine they gay pornography. They film they're child pornography yeah. of the, your gay couple's children yeah. taking the pills and blowing them. And that's how they can afford to bring you 
the, <laughs> these rock bottom rock prices. Bottom prices. Uh-huh. Blue Chew gives you confidence in bed every time. You and your partner will love it. Tired of reminding yourself that you're gay while you try and have sex with your girl? <laughs> Open up. Let her know. Who cares? Because you have you got Blue Chew on your mm-hmm. side to help you accept yourself. That's yeah. right. It'll take care of getting your dick hard so your mind can tear itself apart thinking about will something. They, will else. they ship it in discreet packaging or will it they let everyone know that I'm it gay? Comes I'm in, a small dick yeah, and I'm on a blue. <laughs> Actually, it you can choose in, either discreet, discreet packaging, discreet packaging yeah. so when your mom brings your mail to you <laughs> in your bedroom at her house, <laughs> she'll be like, oh, it's just your custom medicine yeah. and your books that come in a fleshlight-sized box yeah. from 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 RX Books Company yeah. dot real. You don't company. need that passive-aggressive, <laughs> yeah. unsupportive bitch. Yeah. yeah. And now, who doesn't realize that it's her fault that you can't get hard? Right. In a way. Because her trash pussy jeans. Her trash pussy jeans. Passed on to you in the form of a soft little cock. Right. right. Your, your lack of respect for women because comes directly you, from her. You were, mm-hmm. She was in labor for four minutes. Right. And so your first experience was with a very loose woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> loose, disgusting <laughs> house. couldn't wait for you to, to uh, 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 be ejected from her body. Mm-hmm. And never showed you warmth ever again. So sounds like true. a good product, and that's it's what bluechew.com really dot and they're prescribed by and made in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> it's all made in America, folks. <laughs> all made As you know, in the country. Ninety five percent of our audience is military first responders, yeah. and they hate <laughs> buying shit made by chinks. Yeah. And that's why BlueChew.com is 100% Damn. certified is copy? not chink made. Is that in the copy? <laughs> well, yeah. no, he's just talking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's in the copy. It's they, in the, they yeah. didn't think of I it. I'm reading it. They're I paying us. Yeah, <laughs> they told us explicitly, let the vets know their chinks are hands off on this one. No. Nope. Yeah. And then no we got some it. free yeah. camo baseball caps that oh, say Viagra right. on them. For, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Look, my dick was blown off in Iraq, Mm -hmm. and I still take Blue Chew Mm -hmm. so that the nerves that are still there remember why I made that sacrifice. That's right. And it's so that I can drive a truck made by guys like me. Absolutely correct. I think. And chew it, drive a truck, take a dick pill. Take a dick pill. If my Comedy Central show gets picked up, this is the uh, clip I will send to them (laughs) to try to get Nick the head writer's job. (laughs) I won't say anything. (laughs) Right after it finishes, I'll go, You see? (laughs) You see? Yeah, so, you know, you can just imagine hard-working union-type guys in a right. factory. They're sweaty, mm-hmm. steaming, pressing these pills into existence while Bruce Springsteen plays in the That's back. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's Knowing that these... other men will be virile because of their work. Yeah. They just have a hard-working job, and they go home to their wives and their family who they treat right because the Bible showed them how. Yeah. And that's wh- that's who's making these dick pills. God so bless. True. For small dick gay guys. So she wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Here's a great deal for you guys. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code CUMTOWN. Just wow. pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-Chew.com, promo code C-U-M-T-O-W-N. What a great promo code for the product. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Tim, you ever used a dick pill? Yes, sir. I, yeah, Viagra. Mm-hmm. I, my friend gave me a mm-hmm. Viagra. My friend's a sex addict who's fucked his dick into it just does, barely works. Yes. And, Hell uh, yeah. So he's, Respect. Yeah. yeah. No, he's really, uh, you know, he's turned it out. What does he use now? Like a cock pump? He now he like he only what's fuck a, what's once a, a week. sex addict in the gay community? Uh, no, he's straight. Oh. So he's like had to go to meetings. He he just can't not fuck. Like he's you know, like he he like uh. Like what? what monogamy is not at all an option at all. Like I'm on fuck, the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, or is it all monogamy? It's, it's a painful fuck. necessity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something you have to do to get people to like you. Right. right. You fuck I like think, a cat fox. It's sure. just like every once and it's yeah, 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 yeah. Just just so people know I'm normal. Okay. Right. 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 You're going I'm capable of connecting. No, with No, but a people. sex addict in the gay community is a had, dead. Look. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Angels in America. Yeah. Yeah. Is a sex I, can, I can relax and have fun with somebody. Yeah. I'm capable of that. We That's what Rent was about. Rent was a show about sex addicts who deserved their punishment. Punishment from God, <laughs> yeah, and they sang about it. Yeah, that was a great. That's when Broadway was fun because people from Ohio would go into a theater because they yeah. thought like Rant was like you know really hip and like I want to stay Rant, and then it would just be people going AIDS, AIDS yeah. and for a half hour. Oh, yeah. I got my ass fucked. Yeah. I got my <laughs> mouth cummed in <laughs> AIDS blood <laughs> in <laughs> your face. And Jersey right. Boys is like, hey, look, fellas, I'm not gay and nothing, but I'm feeling like maybe we should sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. If 
you, if you guys want to. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I'll have sex with my wife or I'll do this tap dance. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do a little bit of tap dancing, yeah. but I'm, you know, this is out of character for me. So yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a Jersey boy. I'm in uh, the Jersey boys. <laughs> Broadway now feels like I, every thing I see is just like Aladdin or... It's bad. There's a good show like, called The Ferryman about the Irish Republican Army mm-hmm. and the uh, Irish people are portrayed as... Dr- and it's true, just as drunk... Uh, sexually confused. Like, if, if the show is literally just people running around the stage swigging whiskey and yeah. dancing, it would be like if they did a show about black people where it's they're just musical. eating buckets of chicken. Yeah. And, like, this whole family's just drunk all the time. They're dancing around. Everybody's fine. It's a good, it's a good show, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, Irish politics are all about figuring out who to be mad at about your molestation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I, I still think, uh, it is the Protestants who live in yeah. Belfast. Yeah. I got in an argument on my tour bus once with an Irish uh, guy who with the horses because I said I just pointed at him and I said the horses are all out of here soon and he started going nuts he's like you don't know what you're talking about and, he, and there was just tourists on the bus watching me scream at this <laughs> Irish guy who like had a top hat on I mean he really looked ridiculous he was when one he of the brought his horses on the tour with no him? he was one of the carriage guys in Central Park <laughs> oh, yeah. so we were stopped by the park and I was just like you see these guys they're all I was a little aggressive I said you see them they're all done they're gonna kick the horses out of here and he's like you don't know what to the fuck you're talking about? <laughs> he started screaming at me, and I just said, "Why don't you put a bomb in a baby carriage in Belfast, you animal?" Yeah. And the whole like the tour was like like really really like what is going on? But he was screaming at me, called me a faggot and everything. I don't he didn't even know this guy. I was like, yeah, faggot, and he had yeah, yeah, yeah. he had a top like a purple top hat on, yeah, yeah. calling awesome. me a faggot yeah. outside of Irish Central goon. Park. Uh-huh. Yeah, just a guy dressed like Drop Dead Fred, and he and he thinks, screaming, and he thinks he has like a steely quiet dignity. <laughs> yeah. That's what that guy imagines yeah. himself as being yeah, like, right. you know, you show patience to people, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He went home that day, he looked at his wife, probably hit her, and he was like, this fat faggot was yelling, yeah. that's, we're done, we're never done. Yeah. His wife, who looks exactly like you, but yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Irish women <laughs> age like cabbages, this is a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I am the most, like, Irish women are all masculine, they all have varicose veins, they all smoke <laughs> cigarettes, <laughs> they ash their cigarettes into seashell ashtrays. Cold breasts. Yeah. They have Somehow, names like yeah. Terry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 My grandmother, my grandmother, had a, a lady yeah. named Terry who was a maid. It was the only <laughs> Irish white maid left, and she would go and just scrub my grandmother's Throwback. house, and she would get drunk. And her, and my grandmother, would just get hammered. And every time Terry would drive home, she would call up my grandmother's answering machine and go, "I made it," and hung up, <laughs> just so my grandmother knew she wasn't in jail because she was literally a bottle over the legal limit, and she yeah. had scrubbed her hands down to bloody nubs <laughs> washing the house. Beautiful. What a throw! They were doomed race, the Irish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doomed. Yeah, you're an Irishman too. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean and too, so Adam? Like Nick, you are? Nick is one. Well, Nick is sure. Yeah, yeah. Are really? you? Are you all Jewish? All Jew. All Jew. All Ashkenazi. Mm-hmm. Eastern. It's European. always fun, like if like a nice couple comes to like a show and they're like, "Hey, man, I heard about you on Come Town," and then like, like just a nice professional couple, and then the guy will say to me like in front of other people, he'll go, "You should rape Adam," <laughs> and then walk out <laughs> of Cap City wife. in Austin. I'm like, yeah. "Thanks." <laughs> And yeah. then, like, someone who doesn't know the joke yeah. will be like, okay. Yeah. You know, just standing there like, yeah, yeah all right. Because oh. the thing is, is, like, it would be bad. You shouldn't do it, but it would be fun. It would, it would be, be a bit. It would be a great for the bit. Show. It would be very funny. It would be it very would be funny. Bad. It's one of those, you know, it's kind of one of those Roger Rabbit things uh-huh. where it's like... Oh my god! If I got raped, I'd be such a drama queen about it. I would look that for months. No, you would be really upset, and you would need to be in therapy for the rest of your life. Yeah, every rest of his life. I'm already in therapy the rest of my life. Yeah, Yeah, I mean he's going to be there anyway. Let's make it. I'm going to be there anyway. Let's make it worth it. Just give me something to talk about. Yeah, but imagine being like a casual fan of this podcast, (laughs) and six months from now, just hearing, "Oh yeah, Tim, one of the guests just raped the host. He raped (laughs) Adam." Uh-huh. As a bit, <laughs> no, as, a, as bit. a bit, it was I, just like not as a bit, but it, that's what would make it fun. Male on male rape is interesting because I don't know how you would do it. Like I'm literally even thinking about you how you would rape the guy. other person. I mean, you you would literally you'd have to violent. fight. In, well, in jail they use two guys. Well, that's true, but yeah, that right. that's serious. 
physical. You can't get out, and somebody grabs you, and you just that it is what it is. Very violent. But on yeah. the outside, let's say I wanted like for, to. Yes. a lot I'm of it. To, a lot of it is coercion. I'm trying to. You'd be, ex- yeah, you'd be surprised. You could probably talk somebody into gay sex by just f- like physically intimidating them without doing anything. Interesting. Like in a good effect, to you know. Have you yeah. seen? And can you explain how that would? <laughs> yeah. Can you take me step by step how that would work well, hypothetically? Well, there's a. There's a um, there's a breeding process, yeah. Right, to, you got to same, breed to the them same, for the to the same sex. degree that people will just fucking quote unquote get mugged by handing their fucking money over to somebody. Yeah. It's like, come on, man, just give me your wallet. Like that you happens. Someone is like that happens literally all the. Dick. <laughs> and you would suck their dick. I think they're yes. Did you see a probably people in you plain sight? Co- coerce into doing that? What? Look, it That's happens. It, it happens to women all the time. It's right. like you know. I mean, if yeah, you, but they're scared for their physical. So are a plenty of like there's so are plenty, plenty of, of people men. that won't stand up for themselves. But I feel like a lot of men want that to have. If that's the case, I feel like a lot of them right. Because now I'm thinking I should have raped so many people. That I, I was talking. I was t- like, uh, 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 like Abby and Karen had some like guy over here that was like a British guy that I guess did their podcast or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and now I've like just told who it is, but whatever. I fuck. Je- okay, they had Jeff Leach here. I don't know, but yeah, this yeah, guy's it was Jeff Leach. this guy's sitting here and he's talking about like, uh, you know, he's like new. He's like fucking British. He's visiting New York. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm like just. Um, you know, it's my first time here or whatever. I had a, a kind of an interesting experience, and he's like, I was in Times Square and I got mugged. And I'm like, Wait, what? what? I was like, you got mugged in Times Square? Yeah. What is this, 1998? Like, how <laughs> right, the fuck did you get right. mugged yeah. in Times Square? And he's like, some guy was just like, you know, he's, he said he had CDs, and he was like, you know, do you have any money on you? And I pulled out my wallet, and he was like, just let me, uh, he's like, just let me get all of it or whatever. And he's like, I didn't know what to do, so I just gave him my money, and I kind of walked away. What? And he gave up six hundred dollars. What? <laughs> he just handed six hundred dollars to a man in the middle of Times Square, surrounded by police officers, because he like was just pushed into this corner because he's like socially awkward. Right. So if you don't think that that's a guy, you can be like, man, suck my dick, or I'll fucking beat the shit out of you. And he's not going to be like, well, I don't want to be rude. I mean, like that's who would happen. I to. guess, but a dick is. Putting a cock in your mouth. Six hundred dollars is a over. Well, you better I fucking mean, believe I'm not letting somebody take six hundred dollars from me. What I'm saying is, it's so easy to just the the physical act of handing someone six hundred. I'm not letting someone take six hundred dollars from me either. Yeah. But the physical act of just opening your wallet and handing someone a stack okay. Of let's bills, let's take this another way. If I give you six hundred dollars, <laughs> can I suck your cock in Times Square? Yeah. Can we do, can we just arrange? And then you could Tim him and, Tim and that guy with yeah. the CDs are working a one two. Yeah. Where Tim comes yeah. back and he's like, yeah. "All right, man. Well, listen. I yeah. see you lo- you're down some cash. Tim, Joe, How about for two hundred? You Joe suck Mon- me Joe off." Tanya yeah. comes up. That was good. So you put the beaner on the outside. <laughs> yeah. They think you've slipped it to them. Meanwhile, you've sucked each other's dick, and you're six hundred dollars in the clear. That's the short con. You see, it's different. It's the short one. It's a long con. You always got to figure out what the angles are. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. That's a good con. Yeah, I like house, the way you house work. Of, house of gays. Yeah. House of gays. Well, yeah. in that documentary, abducted in plain sight, that that rape is like rape this yeah. whole family. He raped. Yeah, but that's the fam- that family wanted. That that. Clearly, you think the family. Wanted Wanted it? I think the family had some serious issues. Yeah. I think that you let a pedophile like, live in your all, house. You, the amount of people, first of all, permanent adolescence is like a problem now across the board. There's plenty of people that are just children, essentially emotionally mm-hmm. walking around, and you slowly. should be able to fuck them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if someone is a permanent child, that breach, that's a nice uh, middle ground. If you're yeah, uh, your honor, your honor. Yeah, they're only an emotional child, your honor. Yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so you think coercion? Nick's theory in terms of rape, to back Nick to is help you out, right? Nick is probably right. Coercion, but then also I think drugging is probably a, a go-to. Yeah, There's all these assumptions someone, yeah. people have about what they would do in a situation, and no or, one knows, or how they would act. I mean, it's like the classic example of that is like somebody's accused of like killing their wife, and then they're on the news, and they're like, I mean, yeah, it's like she's gone. It sucks, you know. They're like, I don't know, like what to say about it, you yeah. Know? And then people are like, oh, look how little he gives a shit. Obviously right, he right, did right. it. And it's like, well, your wife wasn't murdered. You yeah. know or it was like 9-11 when that guy, Todd mm-hmm. Beamer, said, but we all know that there were no planes. But the guy <laughs> who was on the plane was like, oh, let's roll. Like, if people don't know how they're going to react in that situation. Yeah. You know, people mm-hmm. are like, oh, I would have Yeah, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I was on that plane. 
I wouldn't let that guy force me to suck his dick. Yeah, I would yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah. I would suck Mark Wahlberg off if yeah. he was on that plane. That's how I would die yeah, with Mark yeah. Wahlberg's mm-hmm. cock in the back of my throat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Praise Allah. <laughs> That would be great. I would do that next week if they said, you know what? You, you want to die with Mark Wahlberg's cock in you your mouth in a fireball? Uh, yes. You know what would be a really that fun movie is die. Mark Wahlberg. The, so the terrorists, they kill the uh, the pilots, and Mark Wahlberg's on the plane. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not putting up with this. I'm going to stop these guys. Yeah. And then he goes into the cockpit and beats them up. And then, you know, he's like, time to land the plane. And still fucks up and crashes into the Twin Towers. (laughs) Yeah. Because he can't, because he doesn't know how to fly a plane and he's too proud to let anyone else do it. That would be grand. I got this. There's a different pilot on the plane. Hold on one second. One second. Um, Yeah. So how was Tom Myers? Good? He was, you know, he was a, uh, he was a, uh, you know, he's, he's, there's something off, (laughs) I would say. Um, he did tell me a lot about the Baltimore, Maryland comedy scene. Oh, that's great. Uh, we, you know, his, he, he you know, we, we kind of got it out of him. He's not a comedian anymore. He's, he's kind of just like, he, well, no, he's not really doing comedy as much. He's just working on his podcast. Sorry, and the uh-huh. cat was going somewhere it shouldn't be. And he's, oh, uh, and he's Adam's managing a, a restaurant, a Mexican <laughs> yeah. restaurant. Oh, we know about the Mexican restaurant. Yeah. God um, love him. Respect to him. Sweet man. man. I'd say, uh, you know, and it's like, yeah, I, I wish he would open for us. I just didn't want to address it. But we could a, take him on the road, man. He yeah. could open. We <laughs> no, pay him well. You, you just don't. You don't need to do anything with Tom Myers other than point at him and let him do his thing. No, so, yeah, he'll bury himself. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't I don't think I want to bury him. It, it, yeah, I, I, I want him to throw. Yeah, what I, the fuck I, is wrong with you? Nobody <laughs> wants to bury Tom Myers. I want Tom yeah. Myers to have. Nine different development deals. I here's, the thing, here's the thing: you want him to be like a whack packer, so you get something out of it. You uh-huh. know, like Beetlejuice. I don't even want. No, that. I don't want that. I Look, want him yeah. to flourish. Genuinely, like I love Tom. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't love Tom. I think yeah, Tom's I kind do. of an asshole. But it's like yeah. it really doesn't mean anything to me if he has all this success. It's like I want him to be right. I, I think he's like. Well, the first well, he, step to that success was uh, getting on Gas Digital yeah. this <laughs> afternoon with Lewis. So uh-huh. it's a matter of time mm-hmm. before. Yeah, Managers and agents were definitely listening. Yeah. yeah. To the real the N-word podcast. was said, I swear, about eight times. <laughs> yeah. Eight N-words. Tom said the N-word? On? Zach was on. Okay. Zach was in full force. <laughs> yeah. Tom's, like, Tom's like, like, like Tommy Wiseau, I guess. Yeah. Except Tom's actually kind of like a malicious person. Yeah. I guess. But he's so... It's like the way uh, like a cat would kill you if it was like bigger. It's like, but the cat has sure. Makes he's no, not. Thre- no he's da- not threatening. Yeah, he's yeah. not threatening. But it's like I have no interest in like. The, yeah, there's no whack packer sense of it. I don't really right. want to be associated with him. It's just I happen to know who Tom was, I'm and then friend. I had, and then I had an audience. That's so it's yeah. like you got to yeah. get a load of this guy. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He Look, does it. He lacks a charm. A lot of hacky Long Island comedians have more of a charm. Yeah, no. this guy does not have a charm. No, no, no. no. That's he I, think, he's, I think he, he might legitimately he's be like schizophrenic or schizophrenic. Something's or something. not right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, yeah. I My mean, mother is schizophrenic though, and she's funnier. Like I'm not even kidding. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> she's like much fun. Schizophrenics are kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Tom, know. Tom lacks any ability to really like create any kind of construct of what's going on in anyone else's head. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's or beyond, his. It's, well, yeah, <laughs> it's beyond a, a detachment from reality. He just, like, fundamentally does not understand a single other human being in the entire world. Yeah, it's an interesting way to go. I and, would love to watch him have sex. And that's he why, brought and, a guy. And it's, it's like, honestly, that's why he Did only he? cares about politics. He brought a dude. We, he's straight, but he brought some older guy with him <laughs> who was, I guess, with him. His handler? Was it Ron Bender? I the don't know. Of I, did not ask, I did not ask. I did not ask. Ask his name. Ron Bender, who's a sweet man, is a guy that just does like kind of like one liners. Yeah. <laughs> and it used to go to shows with Tom. Yeah. And uh Comedy's I, a real disease. And that's I had really yeah. Oh yeah. That's really what it comes R- down Ron, to. Ron Bender was like, you know, kinda overweight or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, I, I I kinda you know, he seemed like a sweet guy. I would like, yeah. you know, t- talk to him here and there. And uh I had forgotten about him and Tom posted a picture one time. Of Ron Bender being wheeled onto stage in a wheelchair, right? It, it says the return of Ron Bender, <laughs> and it's like I guess he's lost the ability to walk now. Oh jeez, hey, who, <laughs> who amongst us can blame a, uh, a fat man for needing to perform with out the full use of his legs? I think. Yeah, I think that's actually it's noble, very brave yeah. thing to do. You know, <laughs> damn, I need to eat something. I actually have uh, food. I'm some, starving. I, I had nothing all day. 
<laughs> I have a little snack for both you guys. Actually. What do you have? Oh, is it your dick? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. I thought it was you walked into that. <laughs> you had a sandwich. You walked in. Thought you had like a nice you sandwich. Really, you were I got like, excited. You oh, yeah. I thought you had, had a thing. That, that's how the grooming process works that with is. rape, right? Yes. That's that how I start. I'm always like, hey, you want a snack, boys? <laughs> <laughs> you want? I got some for you to eat. And they're like, what? And I'm like, my dick. <laughs> and then they do a calculation in their head. Uh, they're like, well, this uh, guy might attack me. Right. So I better suck his dick and I better suck it good. I better suck it good. Because if true. not, if not, he might yep. attack me after he comes. That's right. Absolutely. there's nothing worse than coming partially soft yep. because of an inadequate blowjob. And then you got to beat the shit mm. out of this guy. I know. That's the only way they learn. This will sound ridiculous, but uh, somebody posted a picture of like, uh, you know, like a Nat Geo thing with mm -hmm. like, yeah. tribal people. Yeah. And, you know, their titties are out, but one of them's nice. an albino, so they're regular white titties. And it's like, I don't think you should be publishing that. <laughs> what? If, just, you know, the other ones are fine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think a white woman's breast should just be <laughs> out there. Just published. You find it, it wrong. It's I not. Is it a yeah, white woman with invasion science. of privacy? Does she have black yes. features though? Well, I'm not looking at her face. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. I'm gonna go uh, on record and I'd say it's fine. I'd feel a little yeah. better if she's got black facial. <laughs> I'd feel a little I'm bit better. I'm not going to take the opposing view. I yeah. understand she's actually from a, an African tribe. Right. And she probably speaks in clicks and whistles. But I am she's looking at a, a white woman's pair of uh, breasts. And I feel well, like... But I will say, even from, even from here, it's she has a black face. <laughs> she does. And I am uh, that is, I mean, is okay. Face or no face? Black face or no face? I, the only thing... And Would it what's make you making feel it worse is that they're small and kind of perky. They're not mm. great. Which which is defying her race even more. Interesting. Now, and, <laughs> would you feel better if she... She has a flat ass, too. Would you feel better if she was wearing black, traditional blackface? No, that no. would be racist. That that would be racist. Okay, that, that would, would be, be wrong. Be okay, be welcome sorry. back to Instagram. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. um, is it, look at the, the next thing I scroll down to right after I say that. What is it? Well, oh, I'm nice. not going to tell you, but... It's a white bitch? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well, I mean, it's just ironic. It's funny. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I said that. And that's the next thing under it. But, just some white hoe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, With juicy titties. The Sonic movie. Jumbo yum yums. What's up? It's the Sonic movie. Everybody's talking about it. Oh, yeah. You can't Every, get enough you, of it. It was kind of a wasted him? bit at the live show, but we were doing... Yeah. There, so I was complaining about Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, and we thought maybe... Philip Seymour Hoffman would be better. Oh, he yeah, definitely, yeah. He definitely would be better. We riffed that one out, and that was fun. Yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Why don't you give better. people a couple choice lines? Hmm. It's just, I can't even. You can't. No, I can't remember the music. Something about it's his mostly, car. Yeah, I just I fucking love you, Sonic. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good. Yeah. <laughs> he tries to suck mm. off Sonic by the Camaro. I was love he on heroin all the time? All the time. All the time. Man. I think he got the fuck of the Chaos years. Emeralds. Yeah. yeah. Rush <laughs> Limbaugh <laughs> was taking like, I think it was 40 Oxycontin a day. Yeah, yeah. 38 Oxycontin Damn, a day. Yeah. Damn. God, what a fucking dude. Legend. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's Ladies fucking awesome. Just so Dude, you got to watch that that interview with Don Siegel and or Don, Don Simpson and, and Jerry Bruckheimer. Yeah, I want. I'm gonna watch just, it. When the, I get home. The, the, like <laughs> Don Simpson is just so funny. He's just yeah. such a funny guy. I wish there was more content of him being interviewed and asked about. Yeah, movies. he should have been on camera. He shouldn't have been behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, well, he moved to L.A. to be an actor. Oh, shit, oh is that bro. why? Yeah, and That's then he great. got a job at Paramount and worked his way up to being VP of production, and yeah. then just uh, couldn't stop making hits. Well, <laughs> he was a VP of production at Paramount, and then he left to be partners with uh, Bruckheimer. Yeah. And then, you know, they did fucking... Top Gun. Top Gun, Days of Thunder. Yeah. Um, um, I'm trying to think of the other... Actually, they they, they very hits. they very well may have raped Tom Cruise. Um, maybe. Yeah. But the way... He was the so way, vulnerable the and cute way, back in those days. The way <laughs> they talk, it really doesn't seem like they know why that's bad. Right. Right. And you know, and that excuses just, it. At a certain yeah, point, yes. you he's have like, to... He's like, they'll sit there and they'll both like go back and forth and Bruckheimer can't control his face. He keeps like, he'll say things and then just like end with this like weird smile. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. like, and he doesn't know where the smile should be going. Yeah. And uh, like, 
they go back and forth and it, I could totally see them being like, it's not that we raped Tom so much, it's that we both love actors. We love acting, we love the process <laughs> of, of acting, and we really try to surround ourselves with people that I wouldn't say vulnerable per se, although the argument could be made. It's that, <laughs> that they express a sort of willingness to be malleable, to form themselves in any way, shape, or form that can become anything, even a vagina. And that's <laughs> the sort of the mentality that we go into when we make pictures. And we love making pictures, and that's why we do this. And it's like they, they're just like just, they're just both fucking insane. Yeah. You know? But that's who that's that's who you need. Yeah. You to need people hits, like that. Dude. You need coked out to people certified that hits. don't know yeah. if they're raping people or if this is part of the process. That's how Me Too is you ruining that. Hollywood. So true, Adam. Go they're off kicking about all that. those they're, they're kicking the true <laughs> creative Executives out of out see of Adam's power. being ironic now, it's, but what he's it's going to be all true. lesbians. <laughs> what Adam's saying has it's some gonna real be all merit. Lesbians. And what Adam's trying to do, of course, is be this ironic, you know. And lesbians ones, don't you know, know good communists. Movies. But the reality is, there's, <laughs> we're kicking out a lot of fucking characters. <laughs> Let's just call them what they are. They're it's characters. True. <laughs> They're wacky, kooky guys. <laughs> They're kooky, wacky characters. <laughs> you know. Yeah, they they you know, tried to go the cops eccentric. on Weinstein. A bunch of times, and then they said, oh, what did he do? He just ate my pussy. And they're like, well, yeah. that's not... That's the cops were like, well, you're a lucky well, congratulations, woman. congratulations. <laughs> and they man. sent her home. They're yeah. like, we love what you're, We love Pulp Fiction, Mr. Weinstein. Yeah, and then they and came and they ate her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably happened, actually. Uh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's crazy because it's like, you're probably right. I mean, Simpson probably... Because even in that interview, Harvey Weinstein comes up. And it's so funny, too, because Charlie Rose is the other guy at the table. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. Jerry Bruckheimer, Just Don a Simpson. Rape round table. And, then, and then Charlie Rose <laughs> the being most like... distinguished rapist he goes, yeah, he, goes, he goes, you know, uh, Harvey Weinstein told me that, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then Don Simpson goes, uh, well, he's a very smart man. Yeah. You know, that man yeah. is, has a, a <laughs> high degree of intelligence in a way that I think many people can't really appreciate, uh, per se. You know, he's like, just always like everything. He just has to like add these little like stingers to every yeah. sentence. And then he's always doing this weird shit with his eyes, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he'll like say something. And then he, you know, he's just fidgety. He's just sitting a in the chair, of... just going. He's just like such a coke guy. It's always good to see somebody coked out or drugged up and at the top of their game. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's just, yeah. he's sweating and he's like, Hand and he's been in that mode like it's yeah. fucking it's like you know that guy was just going from like 1970 until the minute his fucking heart exploded yeah, yeah. you know he's like great I'm gonna you know what hold that thought I'm gonna get on the phone with him right now Bob yeah. it's Don I got good news let's talk and that just that never stops he just keeps winning too it just he just there's yeah. no like sense of like I'm I'm never gonna lose like I'm on top of the world yeah cause they had uh, Days of Thunder was kind of a flop I mean not really but yeah. you know it just didn't do as well as they thought it was going to and then they had like a five picture deal with I think Paramount actually in uh -huh. 1990 it was like a 300 million dollar five picture deal and then the first one that they made was like a uh, like failure mm -hmm. you know and after that like they had like mutual like they had an argument maybe it was Days of Thunder I can't remember what the first one was mm -hmm. but they had a falling out and then like the studio blamed them for overspending they blamed the studio for rushing the production schedule and then it was like let's just part ways and then they went over to Disney and that's where they you know had like the last string of hits which was um, Bad Boys Bad Boys and Crimson Tide and uh, I don't know why I'm having trouble remembering you know mm -hmm. what the third one Bruckheimer is. did the Pirates movies but Don Simpson was probably he died movie. in 1996 yeah yeah, he died before this fucking the rock. This town. The changed. rock, the rock was the last movie they Ooh, did together. That's a and banger. They, they were having a, a falling out uh, at the time. Like that mm -hmm. was like that was going to be the last movie they did together. And then that was a crazy time to be a guy like that. Yeah, a guy like that now has to be a lot more cautious than a guy like that would have had to be in the nineties. Yeah, you have like eighties and nineties was just. I mean, yeah, I mean the eighties in particular. Yeah, and I, you know, like I we've talked about it before, but it's like it, it, it's funny because Hollywood only understands like the superficial right um there it, there's like been very brief periods where hollywood at large really has any kind of like substance to it sure and i think like um you know you you like you have to like go in understanding that all boomers are narcissists they're at the time probably the first narcissistic generation like yeah you know at, as a whole <laughs> and that expressed itself coming out of like the 1950s with like the countercultural movement or whatever, all of these like 
Eastern uh, ideas, Eastern like philosophies, yeah. New Age stuff imported into the like the West and sort of done it in like a like a like a it happened in like a bastardized way. Yeah, it was all about me. And it's all about yeah. me, rather than like my the, journey, the dissolution of self or whatever. Yeah, no, it's just about all, let's build that up. Yeah, build yeah. it up and hyper focus on it, and then elevate yourself to the level of like a fucking god. So right. the transcendence becomes you yourself as transcended, rather than like. And some, those movies like The Less Than Zeros, those movies about like Hollywood, even in, like in the eighties yeah. and the nineties, are some of the best movies because it's like every character is that. Well, it's yeah, I, that to it, an grows, it grows out of like yeah. again like boomers experiencing that countercultural revolution, but then not integrating it the proper way and thinking that free love means debauchery, doing whatever the fuck you want, right? Uh, 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 like boundless, like to the extent that everyone gets AIDS, <laughs> we're all just gonna fuck as much as we want. We're gonna fuck as much as I want, right? And and like a lot of that is reflected in like you know in, yeah. yeah in what Hollywood was doing yeah. in the 1980s, including their actions. I mean, like I, I've I've said before, I think like partially some of that is kind of what set the stage for what really became a huge problem with pedophilia in Hollywood in the sure. 1980s. Is that they're like, of course we can fuck kids. Why can't we? You know, it's there like, was like a hedonism. It's, it, too. Yeah, it's like yes, exactly. It's just this yeah. this unbridled hedonism that's supported by. You know, yeah, the intersection of just people being entirely self interested and also misunderstanding like their own free love, and ideas. also it being like an artistic, like uh, field, right? Mm, like yeah. that they're making movies, that they're making art. So it's like, like one yeah. pedophile getting a pang of like conscience, and another guy just looking at him and going, "Like we're in an artistic field. <laughs> like, yeah. This is a field. This, this is what right. art. Well, I don't know well, why. What's, what's really, what's really telling yeah. of that mentality is yeah. you you read the description of like, and it's all just tabloid." stuff and blind items but the description of uh of charlie sheen raping Corey Haim, Jeez. and uh the way he describes it is he convinced him and he's like this is just what guys do like actors do yeah. this with each other or whatever yeah but, you know charlie sheen was like 19 at the time and it's like well Corey you know, Haim was got, how old i don't know 13 so but you know charlie sheen probably got turned out yeah oh, and yeah. and then it's like well my theory always was that martin sheen who like came over from the catholic church into hollywood probably yes. brought that all over in from the church martin um, sheen was patient zero i'm i'm going crazy yeah now. no I'm, yeah, so martin because yeah, yeah. i'm trying yeah, to follow yeah, this because yeah, yeah. i i think this is real good the cadence of of how you said that is like oh i, I want to have something to talk to yeah, yeah. yeah yeah people that come to laugh boss and i want to have something to talk to them about after the show <laughs> martin sheen <laughs> fucked charlie sheen into being a pedophile with AIDS. well and he, that's he, why emilio kept his last yeah. name because right, yeah. he didn't get fucked. Because he didn't want to be he, part that, of that. This Emilio is, is hot. I would have rather fucked him. Maybe not. <laughs> I think I don't young know. This is uh, all what I legitimately believe. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> These are all my personal beliefs. There's something beliefs. with the Sheen family that's yeah. off. No, they're weird, dude. Yeah. W watch Badlands and watch how much Martin Sheen enjoys. Did you watch that open secret thing guy. and all that all that stuff? Why is it why is it that Martin Sheen is not convincing in any other role except that one? Or West Wing where he plays an elite. Jedediah Bartlett? Yeah, where he plays a democratic Jedediah elite rapes that rapes children. children. You know? Why why are those his two best roles? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You know? I it's agree. not confirmation bias. No. It's not me thinking these no. things and then watching those two movies specifically. And being like, yes. And being like, I knew Proof. It. Yeah. I think you sound, <laughs> I think you're a sober-minded, rational guy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially about this issue yeah. and Hollywood. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think you're coming to it yeah, with your Tim, own bag Tim of is definitely. You know, it's so ever. funny. It's because I look at Don Simpson and his mannerisms and see how, like, fucked up he is, and I'm like, oh, that's basically me. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just not raping people. Right. And a, right. And, and it's a billionaire. It's, yeah. And it, well, give and yourself some time, man. And yeah. What if you get a nice... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of endearing. I'm just enjoying... With the, that, you got to watch that video. I'll watch he it. He just... He's so sweaty and greasy <laughs> and he's fucking... He's got this tiny little ponytail and this double. He's exactly what 1990 Hollywood that. is. Oh, yeah. He probably drove a little Porsche. Yeah. Big house in the hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always fuck big cell phone. Yeah. Coked out of his face. Yeah. Uh, Great. Great. We, I'll tell you, we love I making love pictures. Shit. We, we love, love to see We it. love making love pictures. Me. That know, was a great... That, there was actually, that business is amazing. <clears throat> there was actually one scene, because you watch Real Masters, this is what he says, he goes, you watch Real Masters, guys like, uh, guys like uh, uh, Washington and Hackman work with each other, and the thing is, is actors will watch the director, and they get a sense of, like, he's going to want ten, he's going to want six, he's going to want three. Some directors will get in, they'll do three takes, so the actor will save their best for the third, but Gene and Denzel, they know Tony, and they know Tony likes just about six. 
So you can see them holding on, <laughs> waiting, and they say six. Boo! This is it. This is the one we're going to do. And that's where they bring it and it really comes out. <laughs> and, you know, the respect for each other, the mutual respect, you can really tell in the moment. You don't know if you have a good picture, but you can tell in the moment that the picture's working for you. You know, and it's just like, wow. Just going off. He's like, yeah, it's something beautiful about a guy that's so into it. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, he, yeah, loves, he loves making movies. Yeah. If it was like, you know, not if it was just with something other than movies and maybe like, yeah, doing brain surgery on yeah, children like coming with up cancer. with cures yeah, right. or something. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he would be a good guy. I mean, it's but you can't confuse like just all these pedophiles talking passion. about things like that. Just be like when you when the kid holds his hand for the yeah. first time, right, right, you know right. the strength of that handshake. You know, yeah. you know that the, the relationship know, is working you, for you. You don't you, know if it's going to be a good fuck, but you, you know, know it's working yeah. for you. You don't know if it's a good picture or not, but you do know you have chemistry there. Yeah, yeah. you know. And he's like, there was one. There, you know, there's a moment there. Cameras aren't rolling. The scene cuts, and it, Denzel says, "Man, this man." That man knows how to act. And Hackman looks at him and he goes, just like you. And it was a moment you could have scripted it. It seems like it came out of the movie. And it's like, just, no, you were on massive amounts of cocaine. Yeah. And, they did not even and, speak And to each just other. a casual interaction between two people, you yeah. turned into some <laughs> significant moment of yeah. actors. But acting. what a great life. Just, yeah. Just yeah. sitting there in the director's chair, coked out of your yeah. skull. Yeah. Watching things. And then, <laughs> not directing, as a producer. Right, not even direct. Just He's as just as a sitting there watching monitors going, this is fucking great. Yeah, with yeah. the head. And, sh and shoving around. shrimp in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not tasting it because his mouth is numb. Yeah. yeah. That rules, dude. Yeah. But a producer, how is that even a job? It's just like. <laughs> well, you know what? To be, I'd say you, you think that because I mean, you know, outside of the entertainment industry, you're like, who are all these fucking people? And then you get on a film set and you're like, oh, everyone's absolutely essential. Yeah. But like, the job is to just, you make sure all There's the different there. kinds of producers. There's a lot of different kinds of producers. So what, what are So an they? executive producer is like a money guy. And then yeah, they got to secure funding. That's it. Go ahead and describe the entertainment industry. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you how Hollywood works. <laughs> yeah. Here's how it works. <laughs> like, my uncle is this type of producer. <laughs> my cousin. <laughs> There's like a people that do scouting locations. Those are all producers. Yeah, or Why maybe that's a location scout. Uh, the guy who produced my pilot, Anthony Bourdain, was very essential. Yeah. And then he hung himself. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a real problem yeah, for us yeah. going forward, <laughs> is that the producer was found in a bathroom <laughs> 48 hours after we in signed Paris. the deal. Yeah. And then we were, me and Nick were left with the people who didn't kill themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the a month. Month. I'm not going to say the guy's name, but that direct. <laughs> yeah, that was not, it was not great. Yeah. But... So sometimes you do want them at least alive. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you're right. You know, he, it was yeah. so it was so hard to, to sit in that room. Me and Nick story. were like we were just asking questions, like like normal questions and normal things. And the guy was asking like we were asking for like uh like a hundred million dollar budget. Like we were like, mm -hmm. why didn't you do like a drone chase or any like drone? Fight? And the guy's like, well, I would have set up a drone. Like because it's about a tour bus. Like you just get any yeah. drone shot. Guys, like that would have taken like the whole day. To do like, do any shot. of these it's clips like, have sound? Right. And he's like, <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna play this <laughs> game again. Do you yeah. you want to hear yeah. the clip? <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then Nick and he goes, fucking he goes, nailed it because these guys all traveled around the world with Bourdain. Yeah, and Nick said something where he's like, "Yeah, these people all think having dessert is a subversive act." And literally, <laughs> right after Nick said that, this fucking idiot walked in. I swear to Christ, he goes, "Yeah, we were in Angola during the Civil War," and it's like, and I looked at him. I go, "Doing what? Having soup? Who yeah. gives a fuck?" Right, yeah. right, right, you know? Right, right. Yeah. No, I that yeah, and then you know everything he said was first of all he's, he spends the entire time sitting there trying to find new ways to cross his legs, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, just trying to prove he didn't have a cop. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> that's all. That was how, the whole day. How hard? I am how hard can he my can he twist his legs like a fucking Twizzler yeah. <laughs> to show you how comfortable he is? And Nick movie. would pitch things that were amazing, like they were really great. And this everything Nick would say, this guy would give some version of like it's going to be too much, mm -hmm. it's going to be too difficult, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, where where is that? Well, I guess we could talk off mic. But. Well, I mean, it's where where they're gonna. They a bunch of Daily Show editors have recut it. It is now a nightmare horror. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I mean, it is, dude. I didn't even know you could make something so. But like the, all these stories about pilots and shit are all true. Like you'll look at something and you're like, I didn't even know you could do that with this. But you want to yeah. talk about producing, and it's like yeah. a project like that is where. Like, it's absolutely essential that you have at least one guy who is like a fucking master 
yeah. or or uh, you know preferably a couple of them that can be in your ear while you yeah. go shoot it yeah making sure that like you're so extracting huge. as yeah. much comedy as possible from like the event dude you can you don't go out there with like a guy who directed like you know we're, no. we're going to fucking vietnam to try cheese made out of piss yeah <laughs> no, it was a, it was never it was never it was rough thing and we life. also yeah. shot it at a, on a day when it was 98 degrees and that's just not the move for that particular shoot yeah. we should have just pushed it back two weeks Which, and it's a shame because there's a lot of like really funny shit in that yeah there is some really funny <laughs> stuff well comedy central now loves the version that i do not like oh really mm. the they're like one. we kind of like it uh-huh. and because comedy central essentially the pitch for the show was like it's really no more like I'm giving it, a tour at the end of the yeah is there any way to just lean into that get them to have it go to series well yeah well, listen, I'm fix trying it, fix it in 101 yeah I'm listen I'm 100% yeah trying to would, I would Here's love the, the thing, opportunity is I love making unscripted comedy I it's love just it. great <laughs> it's the greatest feeling in the world and I tell you when I watch uh, <laughs> some of my favorite comedians really global masters in the crowd, <laughs> it just it reminds me exactly of why I got into this business yeah I love, I mean, I love Don Simpson we'll see I wish we had Don Simpson yeah. on this he fucking dude here's the thing Don, if Don Simpson was, I wish I, 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 I would God give God anything if I could have like worked with that guy yeah <laughs> despite knowing that he's probably <laughs> responsible for uh, however bad you think Harvey Weinstein is, oh, I'm yeah. sure you, this guy was like just off the charts. <laughs> but I would have loved to look at that man and have him say, "Great fucking job." That would have been that, great. That would be the greatest feeling in the world if a guy like Don Simpson told you you were good at your job. <laughs> you would just fucking you would just it's get just, in that car. You just want a father figure you respect. No, it's not that he's a father figure. It's that like he's just like an enthusiastic guy that loves to be pleased and he knows what works for him. So if you can make a guy like that be like, fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, you know, you know there's certain, certain people you yeah. like. Everyone excited. Yeah, certain people you like to please. Yeah. Right. Like in, in, a, in, a, in a work situation. Right. Right. And he's like that guy. Yeah. There's some other like Bourdain would have been a nice guy to please, mm-hmm. but he decided to hang himself <laughs> uh, in, in a bathroom. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> All right. Well, well, folks, uh, we're going to wrap this up. But real quick, before we do, we want to make sure you know to come see us in Canada. Yeah, that's right. Um, we'll be up north of the border in June. 615 Toronto, 619 Montreal, 621 Ottawa, 623 Vancouver, and then 625 Edmonton. That's right. So get, go to cometown.events. Um, C-U-M-T-O-W-N dot events. Uh, all the tickets are up. Buy those fucking shits. We did. We look. Did, is this a little last minute to do a fucking national tour of a, 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 a <laughs> small, country, smaller nation okay, that, yeah. we don't, that we don't live in? Yes, but please just buy the tickets anyway. Just buy them so please. that we could get a bunch of cocaine and we could be Don. We could be the next Don Simpson. And also, just we want to clarify that it's like you're. It's two shows in one, so you're getting an hour and a half of stand up, and then you're getting an hour and a half. <laughs> You're getting an hour and a half. Yeah, of usually a live we do pod. two shows. Normally we do two shows, but this is going to be one ticket for both shows. It's a mega show. The it's a mega are $48. show. It's a mega show. Yeah. But can- listen, Canadian it makes sense. Is, yeah, Canadian money sucks, and it's yeah, also two shows. Four dollars are like. Two it's a good deal. So stop complaining shows. on my fucking Instagram you. comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you to Tim. Thank um, you. We'll see him in Boston this weekend. Oh yeah. Goodbye, everyone. All right.